Hey Libra, welcome, welcome. This is your read. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll start with these fortune cards to sort of set the tone for the read. See if the universe will give us a bit of a sneak peek, a bit of a spoiler alert. See if the, what the read is going to be about, what energy we're going to be talking about today. Some insight into your situation. So universe, what's going on for Libra today? Can you give us one of these cards? Can you give us a hint? Sort of set the tone, what we're going to be talking about in the read. Are we going to talk about love? Maybe career and success? Finding happiness? Maybe healing? What do you got going on for Libra today? And I feel like the cards, yeah, are jumping around. So let's see which one she got for us. So we have patience. Slow down, change your attitude, and clear your mind. So we've got the patience card there. I'm going to tuck them up off to the side. So maybe we're in a transitional period or we're working towards a goal and it's just not happening uh, as fast as we would like something I think we can all relate to at one time or another in our lives. Patience isn't a virtue that I have mastered yet. So definitely zero judgment, guys. So universe, we keep building on this patience card. Let's see what is going on for Libra. What are they having trouble finding the patience for? And maybe love, money in their career, building a new life. What is going on for Libra? And I feel like they're starting to jump around again. Yep, there we go. What do you got? What do you got for us, universe here? What's going on with Libra? Mm, awakening genius. Shining through. So I feel like we're going to be talking about... Uh, maybe building a life that's more authentic to us. Divine Matrix speaks of how everything is interconnected in life. Quieting the mind. Well, didn't it just say that in there? Yeah, clear your mind. So definitely echoing the need um, for acceptance, for meditation, for relaxation. A spirit of gratitude. Oh, I feel like she might be talking about uh, being grateful for the situation that you have now, just allowing things to happen organically. And earth magic speaks to planting a seed for the future, growing a bright new future. That divine matrix I get pulled back to, it speaks of how everything happens for a reason and in its own time. So definitely uh, talking about being patient there, a tall tale. I feel like we're speaking about writing the story of your life. Beautiful, uncaging. Oh, the storyteller again. A powerful move. Yeah, we're talking about, I feel like we're talking about writing the story of our lives, talking about trying to be, trying to build a life that's more authentic to us, um, which can sometimes not be easy, especially since money tends to make the world go round as well. So it can take a bit of extra effort to find something that's fulfilling in all aspects and allows us to make a living. But I feel like the universe is encouraging you um, to slow down, accept your situation, accept that these opportunities will come to you when they are meant to. And in the meantime, enjoying the world around you and find, finding inspiration in the world around you uh, to help you build in this new future too. So I have the Two of Cups next to the Lover's card, so I feel like we might also be speaking about um, a love connection in this read as well. The Eight of Pentacles represents learning. I feel like it's speaking to learning to be patient because I have the Seven of Wands here. Uh, the Seven of Wands, a lot of times he speaks of uh, taking back control of your life, making choices, making decisions, making moves, that powerful move. Uh, I, feel, I feel like we are learning to sit back and allow the universe um, to sort of play things out in her own time here. The Ace of Swords represents triumph. I think within that is where you are going to find your triumph. I think, I think that is the most powerful move that you can make right now because I feel like it's going to put you in a position that opens you up for these things that you're wanting in your life. So I have the Queen of Wands. The qualities that go with the Queen of Wands um, are ambition and drive and passion. I feel like 
I feel like they're speaking to your drive and trying to and trying to force this change in your life and trying to achieve this goal that you're very driven to do it. Uh, the Five of Cups speaks of being stuck in negative emotions so much so that you have trouble finding positive uh, opportunities around you. I feel like it speaks to the frustration that things are not playing out in in what you feel is a timely manner. But I feel like within that frustration is where you're going to miss opportunities and that's why you need to step back because it opens you up uh, to be able to see these opportunities because you're not so hyper focused on this one thing the devil card represents a destructive force in your life and i feel like it's speaking to it's speaking to that drive it's speaking to being hyper focused uh and not being able to see the bigger picture around you the death card represents um a sort of transformation closing the door in one chapter of your life beginning a new one transition I feel like that in letting go, this is where your real transition is going to happen. This is where this opportunity is actually going to come for you. The Three of Cups represents happiness and celebration. So I feel like that's where you're going to get this win. So I have the Three of Swords here. And the three of swords uh, can represent heartbreak or separation. I feel like it's speaking also to also to the heartbreak of this goal that you're trying to push for that is just not seeming to manifest for you. I have the four of swords, which speaks of taking time for rest and self care. Again, sort of tying into that quieting the mind, meditating taking time to sort of relax and care for yourself recharge your batteries uh, feed your soul the two of wands represents choosing a path and i feel like it's tied into i feel like it's tied into i feel a duality in it i feel like it's tied into first choosing to step back and allow opportunity opportunities to come your way but i feel like it's also speaking to choice when that opportunity comes as to whether it's something you're going to pursue or not the hermit card represents introspection and taking time for reflection and the high priestess speaks of a spirituality so again that divine matrix uh, trusting your intuition to help guide you as well so i feel like there's going to be an opportunity coming um but you will only recognize that opportunity once you take a step back and relax So the chariot card represents uh, perseverance, you know, moving moving forward in a positive way, making forward positive progress. So to me, she does speak of, obviously you're not giving up on this goal, whatever it is, but you're just taking a step back and allowing uh, the universe to step in and do her part as well and being open to that. The six of pentacles speaks of abundance in this read. I see abundance in it. I see the scales overflowing. That is what definitely stands out to me in this read and the three of pentacles, which represents starting to see the fruits of your labor. So again, I feel like stepping back is going to be crucial in allowing this opportunity to happen. The king of pentacles represents uh, wealth. He represents success. I feel like he's speaking to the success that you are going to find in this uh, endeavor by being able to, to learn to loosen your grip and take a step back and have some acceptance. The Ace of Wands uh, represents a new beginning and a new life. And I feel like you are going to be starting uh, a new life. That's what your opportunity coming your way is. It's going to help you to begin a new life. I have the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups, again, to me, is all about... It's all about this frustration that you're feeling, that you're not being able to, to get what you want in life. The five of wands speaks to it, to that inner conflict, wrestling with it. Um, I have the magician card. He represents having all the tools that you need to be successful in life. So I feel like, I feel like from this magician card, you've done your part. You, up until this point, you have done everything that you could possibly do to make this thing happen. Now you have to step back and let the universe take her turn um, and bring those things to you that you have no control over, 
but she does. Uh, the Knight of Swords represents victory. So I see that is your route to victory and to happiness and abundance. Yeah, and the Hanging Man echoes this as well. The Hanging Man speaks of the only thing that could possibly hold you back from success in life is you. So trying to force this change to happen instead of letting it happen organically. So you're releasing your grip a bit, um, quieting your inner control freak. This is really hard to do. I understand the struggle. It is real. Uh, but I feel like that is going to be the key for you and the universe bringing this your way because then I have... I have the Knight of Cups, which represents an emotional victory, the Ace of Cups, which speaks of new beginnings, and I have the Nine of Cups, which speaks of abundance, it speaks of happiness. So I feel like this is where all these good things are going to happen. If you can just take a step back, just quiet your mind, accept that some stuff is just out of your control, and you have to wait for the universe to bring it your way, and that you've done your part, and just wait for her to do hers, I think it's going to allow you to recognize the opportunity that I feel will very quickly then come your way. Alrighty guys, that's what the card said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. Uh, please feel free to comment because I do love hearing from you guys. And feel free to like or subscribe. Take care.